road's pretty tough. All right, here we go. told me a couple days ago that I was gonna be like way too hot, I would have been like, ah, you're crazy, it's freezing. <laughs> but here we are. <laughs> Gotta love the desert. Um, we tried to go to that beach road, but the, the road is in a uh, the road is in a riverbed and it's just all sand. And some of it's like a foot deep or two feet deep. So my like Michael was doing okay. My bike was just getting bogged down. It's too heavy. I probably could have left the cases and kept going and gone and picked them up, but I needed to chill in the shade for a second. So he's going to go to the, check out the beach really quick and then just think back up. It is exceptionally quiet out here. Can't hear anything. Come to think of it, I haven't even heard an airplane fly overhead since I got to the Baja. So peaceful. Really incredible. Wow. Okay, so that's that beach. Sweet. Pretty beach. So secluded. Not a soul around. Check out these turtle shells. They're absolutely massive. Pretty wild. Damn it. I just broke my bike. I just went down pretty hard. Broke my windscreen. So much stuff to do in La Paz now. Man, how did that even happen? That's so weird. Bike just went sideways out of nowhere. Man. Still no sign of Michael. It's been like three hours. I don't understand how he hasn't caught up to me by now. I haven't been going that fast. And I've stopped and waited for him twice. Man, this sucks. We're, we're like a third of the way through our day, and it's going to be dark in two and a half hours. Well, guys, this has been an extremely intense day. But, you know, the extremely intense days are often the most rewarding, so, you know, I feel good. Um, I feel great. Found Michael as soon as I turned around to go find him, of course. Uh... And it's getting dark, but we're gonna probably barely make it to this hotel ranch. It's really a ranch. It's like a ranch in the middle of nowhere. But supposedly, they have drinks and Wi-Fi and hopefully food, because we thought we were gonna make it to Guerrero Negro today. So we don't really, we're almost out of money. We don't have any food. We brought like snacks, but that's it. Um, that's kind of why I was freaking out earlier if I couldn't find him because like I literally have 20 pesos to my name right now. There's no ATM in Bahia de Los Angeles. I think let's try the closest place. I mean, if we can get somewhere safe and there's gas and we can have a beer and eat something, then I'm great. Today has been an intense enough, you know? And I'm going to be so sore tomorrow. Rancho Escondido. This guy is showing us around his ranch. We're checking out the sheep. So needless to say, we didn't die today. Hola. Good day. Good day, mushrooms going in the sand. Time to set up camp. Ranch camp. My second day camping on this trip. So luxurious. What are you doing? Why are you licking my tent? <laughs> Accident log from yesterday. We've got 
one bruised toe. We have a bruised forearm, and that's it. Are you gonna sit on my tent? <laughs> Are you gonna sit on my tent? Rancho Escondido. Sea of cacti. <clears throat> if you guys find your, if you ever find yourself in the middle of nowhere between Baya and San Isidro, definitely come check out the Rancho Escondido. This guy, this guy gets it. True renaissance man, wouldn't you say? It's an awesome place. Yeah. That's great. I could stay here for a while. Yeah, this is a great spot. He's been building it for three years. Mm -hmm. And they're going to have their, when are they having their five-year party? No, it's going to be his daughter's quinceanera. Oh, the daughter's quinceanera. Yeah, in May. In May. Uh, this place is amazing. Definitely worth supporting and checking out. They've got a good staff, great cooks. they got a guy making tortillas. He sings. He'll sing you to sleep. Yeah. <laughs> he sang us to sleep. Yeah, that was great. Lots of animals. Super great spot. Great dogs. Lots of animals. Growing their own crops, all organic. It's a nice spot. Gasolina from this guy over here. Hola, amigo. Gasolina? Uh, solo. I forgot to air down yesterday. Probably would have helped a lot because I'm running at full, full pressure right now. If this place weren't in the middle of nowhere, this would be a huge ecotourism lodge, and there'd be hundreds of people here. Covered in hippies. Sweet pipes. <laughs> Alright, I can see the water. We're almost to the beach. Wow, this beach is white. Wow, that is an amazing beach. Here we go again. Now there's the spike. Jesus, dude. Dude, this beach is sick. I'm definitely going to Population cuatro. <laughs> Man, we're having the absolute best time. Like, it made the biggest difference in the world to lower my tire pressure. It is a completely different ride now. I'm like ripping through the sand at 40 miles an hour now. But yesterday, I mean, I, when I crashed, I was doing like 35 and I was barely in anything technical. This is officially the most fun I've had. Dude, we're in the middle of nowhere. 